Hi guys, welcome back to Cheap Geek in the City. This is Phoebe, your resident geek. How are you? I know I've been away for quite a few months now. Um, a lot of things have happened. A lot of things have changed um, in the home dynamically. Um, so um, if you want to hear more about that, you need to go and check out my other channel, which is called Phoebe Nichelle, which I did start. Yes, I did. <laughs> I started that, and the link um, for actually, um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to try and link um, it down in the description box. But if not, it's easy. I'll just put the name down in the description box. It's easy to remember Phoebe Nichelle. Um, so yeah, if, so if you want to. Look, watch daily vlogs for me or almost always daily vlogs for me then um, flip over to that channel as well like subscribe and share as always today um, I feel like sharing um, just a quick dish you guys like if you're trying to get rid of um, any leftovers um, <clears throat> excuse me uh, in your fridge and you don't know what to make or you want to try something new today um, as I said previously I am something like a mixologist I mix all types of things together whether it's hair products for my clients whether it's new dishes for me and family or drinks or things like that I am just like I should have just really been a chemist to be honest with you so without further ado let's get into it so the first thing I want to show you guys is what I have in my pot well my pan so this is my pan here and in this pan um, I cooked turkey wings a few days ago and I slow cooked them in my crock pot um, this might be maybe <coughs> pardon me two turkey wings that I just pretty much just um, shredded with my hands of course clean hands guys you all want to be safe because of the virus and everything out there but I shredded these with my hands and um, these little cubes right here you see that is nothing but just the essence the juice pretty much and um, all the herbs and things that um, the uh, chicken I'm sorry the turkey rendered up when it was cooking so <clears throat> I am going to cook recook or reheat the turkey in this pan with um, the essence and it's going to melt down and re-season the food uh, again and I'm going to um, add vegetables to this and in this pot over here I have water boiling because I'm going to add rice to this pot this is four cups of water and I'm going to add some uh, Himalayan sea salt to this uh, because I'm going to um, have this turkey dish with some uh, frozen vegetables uh, and some rice so these are the vegetables that I'm going to be using and today I just wanted veggies and you know just something to feel something some kind of feel good food. So I'm using um, broccoli. I uh, I know this seems like a weird angle it's because of how I'm holding the stupid tripod. I'm using um, a California medley but I think I may use a the broccoli stir fry I think instead I think I am. And I'm going to use some giant brand green beans, if you can see that. I hope you guys can see that. And I'm going to use some frozen corn that I have left over. And over here is uh, two, cups of, two cups of white rice that I'm going to rinse and try to get a lot of that starchiness out so the rice won't be sticky. So, um, and then of course over here I have my seasonings. I'm going to use a little adobo. Um, some uh, salt-free um, seasonings. I'm going to put the ground turmeric in the, the uh, water with the rice and some vegetable flakes that I picked up at the store um, just to give the the uh, uh, the rice a little bit more seasoning. Um, of course some black pepper and of course that pink Himalayan sea salt that I told you guys all about. So I am going to rinse this this um, this rice right now with water. I 
And I'm going to use cool water, guys, and hopefully my strainer won't act crazy. Hopefully you guys can see that. So I'm just going to pretty much just take my hand and just push it through. I'm just going to show you how cloudy the water is up under there. And I don't know why. I mean, I knew that this that you probably should um, rinse, your, rinse your rice. But I just, for some reason, I just never did it like my mom told me. And, and I read about it, but I just never did. I don't know, just always rushing about or just, you know, just, just I just never did. You know, I just don't even have a really good excuse to even try and tell you guys why I didn't I didn't do it I just didn't do it and just tonight I just felt like doing it so I'm doing it so the water was a bit cloudy and so I'm going to I'm going through and I'm going to say it again and that looks much clearer so I'm going to put the rice in the other sink and just let it hang out for a minute. So guys, so now I'm gonna take you over here. I know you've seen my, my shirt, I know. So this is my pot for my rice. So I'm seasoning my water. This is my Himalayan sea salt that I'm putting in. That's my four cups of water there. This is my turmeric. Turmeric has a lot of good health pro properties for the body. Black arthritis and all that good stuff. So, you see how I turned the water a little yellow? Yeah. So we're going to give this a quick little mix. And then I'm going to add those vegetable flakes that we talked about. Just a few, not a lot. Make the rice look a little pretty. And of course, they probably won't, the vegetables probably won't look this color once I put the rice in after they cook. Because they will probably render up their their color from the water and this is just some of that um, no salt seasoning that I'm also seasoning the water with so I'm gonna let that I'm gonna let that water boil before I add the rice to it and it's going to, it's going to start boiling pretty soon so now I'm going to turn your attention to the pan here and I'm just going to turn this on over medium heat and just allow those little bits of um, congealed um, juice from the turkey wing to just melt and reheat the turkey and then uh, once they they melt down and um, begin to uh, warm the turkey I'm going to start adding my vegetables and additional seasonings to it so it should be really great and then I'm going to yeah I'm going to add additional seasonings to it guys so it should get it should be really really good so as you can see it's starting to um, melt just a little bit so we still have like a little ways to go there because we have a lot to melt so um, and because I don't have a um, top that actually fits oops sorry guys you're going a little wonky there so I'm because I'm trying to surprise there you go um, because I don't really have a top to actually fit this this um, 
pan. I think I broke it a long time ago. So I'm just using my pizza pan, as you can see. My well seasoned pizza pan to cover it up. So it will um, melt down those uh, cubes in, in the background as my grown son. <laughs> checking out the rainfall we're getting a lot of rain this evening yes we are so I'm hoping everybody is home safe and sound no problems with the virus and so drop me a line and tell me what how creative you have gotten at stretchy meals or re, redoing um do you hear that rain that is rain that you are hearing that is rain that is freaking rain. I'm going to show you really, 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 really quick. Kyle, let me show them this rain. Look, look at that. That is rain pouring. It is crazy. Look at that. It's crazy. But drop me a line down at the bottom in the comments and let me know how creative you've gotten with, you know, reinventing meals or stretching meals or just redoing, um, you know, I just redoing um, leftovers because I know everybody doesn't like leftovers, but you know, times are kind of tough for everybody, and you know, you have to come up with creative ways and creative ideas to you know make meal stretch. So, drop me a comment and let me know, you know, what you've come up with, you know, to try to jazz dinner, you know, dinner up. So, let's check on the on the water for the rice. Okay. So, because I'm a little impatient, it has nothing to do with you guys, I am going to drop that rice right in there, like right now. Nope, I got too close and you guys got foggy. So, I'm going to drop that rice in there right now. And then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you what it's looking like. All right. So, guys, we are bubbling along quite nicely here. And I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit on the rice. You know, you don't want to mess with rice too much. You just want to let it just do its thing and cook. Some people cover their rice. I don't cover mine. But my uh, turkey is bubbling along pretty good. It smells delicious. I wish we had smell -o vision So I did switch. I went and I switched out my... Um, California blend with some um, broccoli stir fry. So I'm putting my broccoli stir fry in because I want lots of yummy vegetables in there. I'm going to add a little sweet corn to that. And I know it was bubbling before, but because I'm putting frozen vegetables in there, it brings the temperature down a little bit. Well, a lot in the pot so yeah just be a little cognizant of that so I'm gonna have broccoli corn carrots I'm gonna add a little green beans to, to my little mixture normally I like the French cut string beans but Giants didn't have French cut so I'm left with a little regular fat string beans, so but we'll make do. And I'm just gonna add a, a tad more broccoli because I like broccoli. And so do the boys. I'm just gonna just add that. That was just pretty much the whole bag anyway. I know you're saying stop trying to stir it around it's impossible right now so so I'm gonna add a little seasoning to it I'm adding some pepper a little bit of pepper black pepper I'm adding some of that no salt seasoning and I think this is the table blend and just a little and because the turkey wings are already seasoned really good 
I'm going to add just a little saison to there. Can I borrow some of your towels? I'm adding just a little saison to that. Not a lot, just a little bit. And then I'm going to recover. So they so the vegetables can steam down and the juice. Okay. Let's check on our rice. Our rice is bubbling along really well. And I was wrong. Look at that. The vegetables still have their color. And I'm sorry it keeps fogging up, but because the rice is cooking, it's gonna keep it's gonna keep fogging up, so I have to keep my distance. So um, we're gonna come back when everything is done and I'll show you the end results. Alright, guys. Okay, guys, so dinner is done. And this is what it came out to look like. Doesn't it look yummy? So what I did end up doing was putting some poultry gravy in um, the mixture to make it a little thick and creamy. And it is yummy because I tasted it. Looks so good. I'm going to slow roll it around there so you can see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now that's what leftovers should look like. I'm going to show you what the rice looks like. And isn't that pretty, pretty rice? Yes, look how pretty that white rice turned out to be. <laughs> it's yellow. It's yellow veggie rice now. Okay, okay, okay. Looking good, looking good, looking good. So that is all that I have. And I, I don't know what I'm going to call it. I guess I'll call it... I don't know, a chic geek surprise or a chic geek mix. I don't know. Comment below. Let me know what I should call it. That's all I have for you today, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. And again, drop in the comments what you are making for dinner or how you make your meal stretch or how you remix your leftovers so you and your family can stretch those dollars during this this time of the, uh, you know, the crisis. So... Thanks for hanging out with a geek and see you guys later. Bye.